we have one of the most common Corsa issues. Now, you may not realize this, we get a lot of people coming about this issue, and to be fair, Jack's car has the issue as well. So if you own a Corsa, you've probably come into this issue at some point down the line. Um, and the issue I'm talking about is the fact that the heater blowers don't work. You'll put it on number one, number two, number three, but on number four, it works. Um, this is a very, very common issue with the cars. We're gonna show you how to fix it. We'll even link the part in the description down below. It's not expensive, the part. It's probably about six or seven pound, and Jack's just pulled in. So, hello? So it's not, hello? So it's not, hello? So, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna show you how to replace that. It's very, very quick. Um, it's very, very easy. Should take approximately 20 minutes at most. Uh, it consists of gloves box out, and then we'll show you exactly where that heat resistor is. If you just wanna grab that heat resistor from up there, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. There's something very, very simple causes so many, so many problems. Doesn't it, Jack? It's not good when it gets all steamy. No, it looks like you've been doing some dogging. Especially when there's two men, fat guys, sat in a car eating McDonald's. It don't look good. Don't look good. <laughs> Here we go. So this is it. This is what we're going to replace. These usually just fry out and only end up working on number four. Or they just don't work at all, do they? Let's like turn that. this way. There we go. So Jax has got this issue. Finally, it's got the issue. So we're going to fix it. We're gonna fix it, we're gonna show them how we fix it. Quick, quick fix, fix. Let's fix, 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 fix. Let's fix. So first off, the glove compartment needs to come off. You don't, well, I'm gonna take it out. Oh, that's not got no wheels. Hey! hey. Whoa! Oh, beardage. So, <laughs> Jack, stop back drafting. The <laughs> glove box needs to come off to begin with. It's just, is it three bolts, four bolts? Wedding. T20s, yeah, I know, but it's three or four bolts. So we're going to do that now. Are they the same resistors as the resistor of the resisting resistor? What? For the motor. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to show you exactly what we were talking about here. So let's just turn the ignition on. Oh, Jack, I've got stain lock. There we go. So ignition's on. Nah. Still going strong, by the way. Um, one, two, three, nothing. No. Sometimes it works on four, but the majority of the time it doesn't. So this is the issues that we've got. But again, with stereo, still going strong. So we're gonna change the resistor of the resistance of the resistor, according to Jack, or whatever he said. Somebody knows exactly what Jack says. Put it in the comments, please, because I need clarification. Jack, why are you smelling it? Smells good. Okay, so Jack's going to take over the camera and he's going to go down under <laughs> and it's going to show you exactly <laughs> where it is. So you see the glove box out. Ignore all this wire and this may be for Jack's gauges that he does actually need to sort out. Well, well this is we'll when I first fit, fit a gauges. Yeah, but when we'll, we'll sort it out when this dash comes out, you know, for a bit of uh, flockage. Some light flocking. Can I flock you? We can flock your head. Oh. Flock my head. Right, okay. So. If this video <laughs> gets 200 likes down below, we're gonna flock his head. Yeah? I'm up for it. Okay, how is 200 it, likes how down is below, it, does it come off? we're gonna flock his head. I don't know, if you don't know what flocking is, Google it, trust me, it's gonna look like he's got the freshest trim ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give him the bi biggest and bestest airline anybody's ever seen. Down here, yeah? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I might even give you a bit of a fringe. Yeah, do we? Yeah, it? no, because that looks silly. No. You gotta do it completely straight. I will do it. No. Masking no, tape. no, 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 not straight. No, 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 no. I'll oh. do it on a good curve, the good curve A chore, then it will look amazing. So, right, Jack, take them under, down under. Wait, why have we not got any light? Got... Yeah, but I can't see. We're all darkness. There we go. Right. 
Take them under and show them exactly where it is. It is. Come on, Jack, this is the first time with the camera. <coughs> you can do this. <coughs> you can do this, Captain Jack. Jesus Christ. Come on, Jack. It is. Right, well, it's. I can't point and. Ah, I've got a screwdriver from my ear. Oh, that's a ratchet. Why well, you got a screwdriver from it's... There. It's in there. Can they actually see it? No. <laughs> well, oh, they no. might do. It's hard to see. It's in that. In that? In there. So what is it that holds it in? A bolt. Or a screw. And, oh. and there's a plug on it. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Watch, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, this is from the hospital. That, that one is from the hospital. Hold this, we're gonna test. Test what? If it's actually good. Right. How do we test if it's good? Get a lighter and blow through the mask, see if it puts the flame on. But okay, we'll be, we'll be back with you in about two seconds when Jack comes up with his... Okay, never mind, he's coming. Put it on. Wait! Oh, you messed with me Feng Shui. We're testing NHS goodness. Not saying I know chests are bad, but we'll see with the mask. Okay, right. Let's, uh... <laughs> 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 no, don't <laughs> ah! <God damn> <laughs> ah! No, I think you're supposed to breathe through it, but I think it's supposed to stop you breathing directly on people. Somebody actually clarify that. Like, what is? Whoa! Whoa! Ooh! Oh, well, that smells. I'm gonna have to get an air freshener. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look! It it's gonna do. You just fucking burnt me. <laughs> I'm in. Me thinks. Fuck. I hope you're not recording me, you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the resistor's in. Now, <laughs> looking at this old resistor, I might actually get out the car and show you this because you can't really see it very well. In the car. It's very dark. Yes. So, if we look at this right here, in fact, let's go outside and let's go on the bin. Oi! Shit. Yeah, so Jack's just screwing the screw in that. It's literally just one screw and then it plugs back in. The screw's obviously there. But looking at this, you can see that it looks like it just burns out. So, there's a bit of a burn section there. Big, rus rusty burn sections there. Nothing wrong with Rusty, by the way. Um, but then here you can see it actually burns it as well. And it's rusted. So this is obviously a common issue. Really, really common issue that needs to be fixed. Again, these are really, really cheap, to be fair. So they're not expensive at all. I think this was like £6, maybe. Um, and we've done that many on the courses and that now. It goes on the Astras as well. But again... They are pretty similar parts, so it is to be expected. I don't know why it's so dark. If I turn around here, here we go. Um, so that's now in. We're gonna show you it working. I'm gonna throw this old one away. 5.5 millimeter socket. 5.5 millimeter socket? Yeah, okay. that's what you need. 5.5 millimeter. Jack, has somebody took plane out for a drive? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're borrowing it. Be careful. So, let's bring it back to one piece. Do backflip. That thing costs a bit of money, that. Backflip. Do you remember that guy that was actually doing one with the backflip? Yeah, that was another one I went to that. Oh, we can see. What it. I will say to you is if you've come this far and you turn the resistor, well, the fan on, you've changed the resistor, 
and it isn't working then it will be to do with the motor as well at the same time so it may be worth getting both of those parts jack's already replaced the motor on his uh, previously and we know we're not going to have an issue with that so what we're going to do now is we're going to just jump straight to the car we're going to show you it working and show you exactly how it works what did you tell them how it breaks yeah it's when the motor runs out and then it burns itself yeah, just the motor starts to seize yeah they just voxel in it basically it voxel ah so these by the way on the website <laughs> <laughs> currently have an offer vanilla cheesecake air fresheners three for three pound fifty posted so make sure you get them if you guys haven't already um yeah jack's got plenty in his hands uh, <laughs> but if you guys haven't already received yours they are coming we've just had issues with royal mail so apologies for that um royal mail just don't seem to be doing the job lately do they royal snail royal snail exactly so they will be coming soon so get on the website down below and get yourself some of these vanilla cheesecake speaking of cheesecake let's actually show them first that and then we're going to get cheesecake yes and cheesecake Done. told you leave it let it grow let it grow <laughs> <laughs> all right so jack's going to turn it on and we're going to show you it working do it do it one Two. You can hear it. Three, four. God, they could probably hear that very well next to right. So yeah, that is pretty much a quick, easy, simple fix. Still going strong, by the way. Um, to mm. actually fit the fix the fans. It works well. It does work well. It's good. The money. Yeah, easy money. Well, cheap money. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully that kind of helps you guys fix an issue that's probably been annoying you for a very long time. A quick, cheap fix that you can do for under £10. You probably didn't even know that you had an issue with the course because a lot of people just put it on number four and it sometimes works straight away. So if this video helped you guys out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you click that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.